What's up, Fine Apples? Welcome back. So today we're gonna to be trying out a ton of new affordable stuff. I picked up a couple items at Walgreens, like an e.l.f. pencil, some new lashes, and then I had some stuff that was sent to me. All affordable today. How are you doing? Um, I'm also going to be doing my hair as well. But yeah, if you're gonna get ready with me, let's do it. So good morning if you are currently getting ready with me or afternoon or night. I have this e.l.f. pencil in Instant Lift Brow Pencil and on there was like number one pencil. And I have not tried an e.l.f. brow pencil in a really long time. Let's try this one out. They didn't have the shade I wanted, which was dark brown. This one is neutral brown. So let's see. But I love e.l.f. I feel like they have been coming up so much, but I have not used this in the longest. And I feel like the pencil I used was a little bit different. So let's see. Let's see if it's too waxy for me or not. Oh, it is a little on the waxy side, but it's not too waxy. But this one seems okay. Ooh, I like it. Actually, this shade is perfect. I think dark brown might have been too dark for me. Now that I have like my blonde coming through and I just used purple shampoo so it's a little bit lighter, I feel like I have to watch it with like what shade I use on my brows. And then today I have more products. Uh, they did a collaboration with Jen Atkins and if you don't know who she is, she is one of my favorite people right now because I currently use her shampoo. Way shampoo and you guys know I've been really enjoying that line and it's helped my hair a ton so I'm all about it and I'm kind of curious how it's gonna work out I mean I think it is a little bit random how she's a celebrity hairstylist she's known because of the Kardashians I don't think she did makeup as well I don't know I think she's just a hairstyle like a celebrity hairstylist and colorist so I went ahead and cleaned up the brows and they actually look really good and I think it was only three bucks like wow that's why in my mind I'm like how and I get it like people love certain pencils but it's like I know sometimes some girls will say oh I can't, I will never use anything that's not Anastasia and I'm like <laughs> I could literally tell someone oh I'm using Anastasia oh my gosh I love it I'm using e.l.f. and it's three dollars ha I have a primer I wanted to show you so this primer is from Makeup Revolution and it's the Conceal and Fix and it's a velvet priming balm. It's the pore perfecting primer. They sent this over and I'm curious to see if it might be like Tatcha because it said like balm but then it's like in a circular package. So let's see what it's gonna look like. Look at me with my rose gold scissors and this rose gold packaging. I swear, not planned. Okay. Uh, I did get a comment from one of my friends, Emma. She's one of my subscribers, but I call her my friend. All of you guys are my friend, but she's the one who came over my house and did the makeover uh, right before I moved. And she asked me if I could do a unedited video. And I guess Christine Dominique does them and she says they're really fun to watch. So I'll have to see because I honestly don't watch a lot of channels. Like no offense to Christine, but I don't I don't watch Christine Dominique, uh, but I'm curious to see what video that is. So, uh, but most of the time, honestly, the cuts are me opening, <laughs> opening up packaging and it takes me forever, <laughs> but I'm gonna look into that. Okay, so I have this pore perfecting. Oh, okay. You know, immediately looks like the e.l.f. putty primer. So let's see, oh, it comes with the little spatula right here. Maybe this is like the little dish. No, I think that's just protective covering so that, you know, you don't have this laying on top. Let's see. Whoop. Oh, whoa, I really dug into that. <laughs> I really, I just went for it, huh? Okay, well, I don't know how much I need. Ooh, is this a Tatcha dupe? <gasps> I love a good dupe. Okay, that's a little bit too much. Let's see. I will know right away. <gasps> this is pretty good. It's not exactly it. This is a little bit more on the thin side, but it has like that Tatcha, that Tatcha feel. It's not as silky, but it's, it's kind of like this. Okay, yeah, this one is not like Tatcha. It, it's putting this white cast. Let's see if that will go away because I didn't use that much product. I knew it was gonna fall. <laughs> I was just waiting for it. The one that's closest to it is the e.l.f. putty primer. That one's really good, but this one doesn't feel that bad. Let's go on to eyes. So e.l.f. came out with the collaboration with Jen Atkins, like I said, and she came out with two palettes. So I'm excited. At first when I got it, I said, oh, is it one for a giveaway? But no, one is like more for medium, light to medium. Well, I think medium and then deep skin tones like deeper colors because of the blushes and the bronzers, light to medium skin tones, 
It's actually, it's really nice. I feel like this blush would still match me though, even though it's for like lighter to medium skin tones. And then this one is the darker one right here. This palette is called Let's Elfing Do This Palette. Like effing but elfing. That's pretty cute. What's this one called? Oh, the same thing. I don't know how you differentiate. Hmm. I'm gonna be going for the deeper one because you guys can't see my skin right now, but I am self-tanned. I don't know if you could, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I look orange on camera. I swear I'm not orange in person, but as you can see, it's definitely, you know, I'm, I'm more brown biscuit, you guys, and I'm super excited. I haven't said brown biscuit in forever. Okay, let's get into it. Yeah, I still have a white cast on my face. Let's see if that'll go away because I'm looking at myself and I'm like, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's the palette. Obviously it's like an everyday, like neutral on the go palette, like an all in one. So I'm going to actually dip into the bronzer and see what this looks like in the crease and just start blending this out. Let's see. Oh yeah, that works out totally. It's a little bit darker than what I thought. I thought it was gonna come out a little bit more warm, but that's fine. So I think I'm just gonna go for like a super smoky eye because I feel like I haven't done that in a while. So let's do it. All my makeup has been natural. If you saw my last video that I filmed, it's like my quick on the go look. But I feel like that look is so in right now. There's a lot of natural makeup looks, which I absolutely love. But I also feel like anything is really a go. Do we really have rules with makeup? Like, let's just do it. Just have fun. Like, whatever you're feeling like that day, do it up. I feel like you don't have to follow trends. I don't know. It's makeup, you know? You're supposed to be creative and whatever you want to do, you do. Let's go into this shade right here. Ooh, and barely any fallout when you tap it. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, when you get palettes and they have so much fallout, and the palette is so expensive, you're just like, what are you paying for? Because some of them are so pretty and I just think, oh my gosh, this is so expensive. Half the palette is already like dust. Man, I could really see that eczema though. <laughs> I hope it doesn't flare out. The first thing I was thinking was, why are you putting on eyeshadow when you have eczema? But the show must go on. Sacrifice eyelids for a video. It'll heal. I usually just put like Neosporin and cortisone and it's gone within a couple days. Eczema season for sure. Spring and summer, where are all my eczema people out there? Let me know. I'm with you. Let's flare up together. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking at myself and I know what's tossing me off and it's this damn primer. Like it is sort of, I don't know. Look, you could see where I put it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the black shade. Let's see, because sometimes black shades are so hard to blend out. So I'm gonna use very little because they can get muddy. I'm gonna go back into the bronzer shade and then blend this all out. The black isn't bad though. It's not going on super muddy. I'm actually obsessed with the e.l.f. glitters. I have a couple, but the one I'm going to use is called Flirty Birdie. And I think it would look really pretty just on top. Just because I feel like I just want some sort of pizzazz. Ooh. And if you love the Stila glitters from before, I honestly couldn't even tell you if they're still a brand, like people still buy stuff because I never see St Stila, but I haven't gone like actual shopping in the store for makeup in a while, only drugstore. And they're so good and they don't crack because I find like sometimes some of these brands just end up cracking and they get kind of weird and funky and you can't really layer them. And what I like about them is say that you wanted to do like a cut crease, you could literally just go, Whoop, and now you have a cut crease. Like you can make one with it. But I'm gonna blend this out. Maybelline Tattoo Studio, this is a smoky gel pencil. So it has like a smudger on one end and then the pencil on the other. Let's see how this looks. I don't know if I'm going for a wing or not, but I'm curious to see what this would look like if I just place, oh yeah, this is very, very pigmented. Shoot, I hope I didn't put too much. Wait. D oh, is it not as, oh, it is. There's a sharpener on one end. I'm like, what's going on? But, okay, there we go. There is a smudger, but there is a sharpener on the inside. Also, if you didn't know that, a lot of pencils have this. And I remember all of a sudden mine coming apart and I thought, what is this? I was sharpening with an extra pencil sharpener from like a NARS pe pencil for like so many years. I, I just felt so stupid. Let's smudge this out. 
to make it a little bit soft and smoky. It's actually pretty easy to smudge. I'm gonna try out a new mascara, which I'm excited because it's called Big Papa. I love it when you call me Big Papa. Throw your hands in the air if you're a true player. <laughs> That's the first thing that came to my head. I'm so excited. So there's a crown on top. So this one, what does it claim? 500 plus crimped bristles catch every single lash. It says get bigger volume, bigger lift, bigger thickness, a bigger impact. This is what it looks like. It's a fat wand. I see a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of bristles. It's a little gunky, but let's try it. It's a very solid Wow, it's solid. There's no wiggle room in there. I love it when you call me big papa. Color pop one. I don't know if they restocked this, but this thing is so damn cute from their Valentine's Day line. Okay, yeah. It's not doing the best job to my lashes. Oh my gosh. It looks like it's doing nothing. No, there's no big papa here. Okay, this one does give me more thickness, but it's not... That's my dog barking at someone. It gives me more thickness, but it does not give me length. So good thing I'm wearing false lashes today. All right, so I went ahead and just put on a regular lash that I usually use. This one's uh, Lily Miami. I know it's not affordable, but I still wanted to tell you. So I'm excited for this because I have the new L'Oreal Paradise Tinted Moisturizer. So this is a water infused one. So I have three different shades of medium, medium one, two, and three that they sent me. So let me do some little swatches for you. This one is number one, right there. Number two going on. Oh, this one's much more orange. Oh my goodness, what? That was two? Three, wow, or that one is super orange. And oh, this one isn't as orange. Okay, so number two pulls a lot more warm and orange. Three is on the more warm side and one is definitely neutral. So let's see. Let's just bring it down. Okay, I'm surprised that that is one. Let's see, two. that is two, that is three. Okay, well, I'm obviously a number one. Huh, that's interesting. I'm not sure like all their, you know, shades because when they sent it to me, I said, oh, one, two, and three, that's for sure gonna be my shade. And I thought I was going to be number three because I thought more of like a light medium, medium, and then like medium tan was one, two, three. So hopefully those shade references kind of helped. So I have a new brush I wanna try. Okay, I hope this doesn't dry down. I don't think so because it's a moisturizer, but it's the Elf Complexion Duo. So one side for concealer, the other for foundation. I like the packaging, very simple. So let's blend this out. Ooh, I like this brush. Awaken Fresh Glow with Luminous Coverage 24 Hour Hydration. Uh, has aloe vera and witch hazel. Tinted moisturizers are gonna be more on the medium coverage at most side. So let's just bring this baby around. Ooh, it feels really, really nice. It's blending so easy with this brush. Ooh, I like it. It's so refreshing too because it is water infused. Like I feel like I could feel the water in it. Wow. Okay, this is gonna be such a good product already. I can tell. I love L'Oreal complexion products too. L'Oreal and Maybelline are my top. Okay, this is a very like light to medium coverage and it's not a full medium. I'm gonna say that right now because I do have some scarring right here. One thing I forgot to put on is this because I just looked at it, the Milani Glow Drops. I'm gonna try it on one side with the primer. I'm gonna do it because I wanted to know if it's a dupe for the Watermelon Glow Dew Drops because those are pricey and I wanna find a dupe. So this is what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like when you pump. Oh, okay, well, I didn't know it was gonna be that creamy, let's see. Oh, uh, no, it's not a dupe. This is, it doesn't have like a serum feel. It is giving that nice glow. An alternative, not necessarily a dupe, but gives you the same finish. Okay, so let's try the other side with this foundation. I'm excited. Hopefully I didn't ruin it right now with this. I mean, I, could, I mean, it's okay to like mix that on the other side too. This feels so good. I wish you could feel it. It almost feels like cooling. And it's so easy to blend. Like, look at this. With this brush, usually you have brush strokes, but I think because it is a moisturizer, it's just blending out so easy. And this brush is done really well. Now, 
the final say so is the other side. The only downside of these brushes is how do you store them? You have to store them like this because it's either one side is getting screwed. So now after seeing it, this does give a really nice glow on the Milani side. Um, yeah, it does. So in case you want a little bit more glowiness, I'm just going to do it up just like that and just blend it because I can. You can always mix these drops with all sorts of products. Back to using this Makeup Revolution Concealer. I've been trying it out, but I still don't know if this is one of my favorites. I do love the glow underneath. It needs a little bit more extra coverage, I think. I wanna try out this brush. Let's see. I do like it. It's just very, very hydrating. So if you have dry under eyes, this concealer is going to be perfect for you. Elf came out with a collaboration. I'm sure you guys seen this. I'm late to the game. And they sent over their little sponge because they had to collab with Chipotle. And look, it's an avocado and here's the pit. Isn't that so cute? So this, you can use underneath your eye. <laughs> with this and I'm one more I'm like oh, that's so cheesy like some collaborations I feel like are so unnecessary or they're just doing them because they don't have any other new ideas I think that this is really cute yeah not enough coverage for me I'm gonna add like another concealer I'm gonna add a little bit of my elf concealer since this is an elf day I guess this sponge is a little little tiny though, I won't lie. Like I feel like people would lose this immediately. I'm just gonna use my Maybelline Banana Setting Powder and just place that underneath. I have a brand new powder from Essence and I'm trying to find like really like affordable stuff like say for instance, Elf is so affordable. Um, Essence is another one. So they sent over these powders and this is their loose fixing powder, instant blur effect. Medium, I have medium and tan. I'm gonna go with medium because medium is already looking pretty dark, so let's see. Medium is looking like tan in my opinion. How is this medium? A light dusting. Okay, let's start at the forehead. <gasps> Wait. Okay, I blended it out. <laughs> it's definitely dark. A little goes, I feel like because my face is so glowy, like the powder sticking to it, you know what I mean? So let's Blend it out, oh no, wait. <laughs> this powder is pretty dark. Wait, I'm really trying to swirl it, this is so funny. <laughs> because look, <laughs> it's like a race. Oh my gosh. Okay, medium, what is up with everybody's shades? I feel like all of them are going a little bit darker. Huh, that's a little, a little off in my opinion. To me, this is definitely not medium. I wonder what tan looks like. Let's see how deep tan is. To me, they almost look the same though. Let's check it out. Tan, and this is medium. It's just a little bit more golden. But to me, this looks like tan, and this could be a little deep, and then another deeper one. I don't know, I think because I didn't put too much on because I'm kind of scared. <gasps> no. Let's blend it out. Okay, yeah, I'm not a fan of this powder at all. It's weird because even when you place it, even if a powder, it's kind of making my makeup look um, cakey. It's not blurring it. No. Ah. <laughs> do you ever do that? You're, you're probably like, no, can't relate. Mm -mm. Holy Grail bronzer from Maybelline. I love this city bronze. Uh, when I hit pan on something, it's major. It's literally like, whoa. It feels so good to hit pan. Man, that powder was, woof. And it was so funny because <laughs> Essence, and it's no shade to them. I just, I thought it was funny. They sent me over, they had the Lash Princess, but they have a collection with Disney. And they said, oh, we know you love Disney, which I do. If you guys didn't know, I have an Instagram, Disney with Lizzie. I just started a new channel. LG Adventures, which is Lizzie Glenn Adventures for Disney, Funkos, all that, I just started it. Uh, but they're like, oh yeah, I can't wait to see your looks. And they didn't send me any palettes. There was four palettes, I think. And they only sent me three mascaras. And I'm like, whoa, I'm gonna have so many looks. <laughs> and it's no shade to them. I just thought it was so funny. I forgot to use the bronzer in here. just hit me. I looked at it. I was like, damn, it's okay. Let, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So let's, 
let's not break it. So for the lighter one, the bronzer looks more neutral. Let's just dip into it and let's see. No fallout, hello, love that. I don't know what I can see from right here. Uh, this one looks a little bit on the orange side, warmer side, which I actually like. Oh yeah, more warm. This isn't even bronzing at this point. It's like I'm self tanning my face. Maybelline pencil at the bottom of my eyes. A little goes a long way. I probably could have used less product. It's the Maybelline Color Strike. I think it's so good and I show this on my favorites and I usually, a long time ago when it came out, uh, last year and I feel like these products don't get like a lot of hype because they're sometimes they're silly but this one's actually good the products in there so you have to push it in and I love just using this as a quick boop, and I'm like done it is the fastest inner corner highlight ever there you go it is so good so you even want to do the tip of your nose boom let's go into I'm not used to like my eyes being lined all the way because I rarely do it now let's go into some mascara Let's see, maybe it might be better for my bottom lashes because you know, sometimes some mascaras are so crappy on top and then they're so good at the bottom. Yeah, it's bad at top too. <laughs> yep. Mm, no, I want the darker shade right here, this middle one. Let's see how this works out. Let's see how pigmented it is. I've just been hitting up here instead of the apples on my cheeks. Wow, this blush is really nice. That blended out so fast. Let's go to the other side. <laughs> I also need to kind of fix my bronzer a bit because it's looking all over the place. Let's take the little guac. And what I do is I don't even take any really like true product. I just kind of go like this and just slowly just kind of sharpen it up right there. Blend it out. Let's take the highlight. I don't know if this one's gonna be a little bit too dark for me in the darker palette. Let's swatch the other one. So here's for the darker palette. Now here's the lighter palette. Mm, let's go with the dark one and let's try it out. Oh, it's not bad. No, it is. I could see it. Shoot, let's blend the lighter one on top. Oh, I'm all over the place. I just need some, it's my lips. My lips are naked and it's making me feel weird. Like, <laughs> okay, so she came out with three different lippies, Jen Atkins. So there's, let's do a swatch here. Ooh, it's like a corally orange. This one is called, what is it called? I feel like all the names are really cute. This one is called Self Made Pink. Okay, so that's the shade of pink. Ready to go. This one's like a brighter red, red orange. Ooh, love that. Bring it on brown. This brown looks really nice. Ooh, okay, so that's the one that's obviously going to match my look today. And on the other side, what I love is that there's a lip pencil. So let's line the lips. I've been really into lining my lips lately. It was a little drying. Okay, she definitely wanted this a matte formula because this is mega matte. So I was gonna do like a cute hairstyle, but honestly, I feel like the look that I created is like a going out look. <laughs> Just did like a little slick back ponytail and I thought it was actually fitting because then, and she also did, it's a e.l.f. by Jen Atkin hair and brow pomade clear coat. I have a ton of flyaways, so this would be per, oh, it's actually working. <gasps> it's working. I know you can take like a toothbrush and use hairspray, but this is kind of convenient, you know? Or say like when you're out and you just, wanna... okay, it actually worked. <gasps> I have like some little, little baby hairs. Let's see if it'll bring them down. <gasps> it did. So let's try out this shade, not the lip liner, but just like the shade. Okay, I think I like this more. Yeah, the formula she picked, very, very matte. Like I'm talking about, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, overall, I'm probably going to test this out a little bit more and you can see if this will be in my, um, May favorites because I want to give it a good go, but so far just on application I wish it would have been done with a, a better primer and a better set, but I'll try it out in the future But yeah, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you beautiful people in the next one Mwah. Boop, boop.